helps me with any questions. And, and, I, and if I had to answer, I would help. So talk about your world travels, and I was talking about a, a picture with you on an elephant. Yes. Uh, where I, was that at? That was just in Thailand. I was in Chiang Mai. I, I, I enjoy traveling. It's a hobby of mine. I've been blessed. And I just recently got back from a stint in Southeast Asia. I did Laos, Cambodia, Thailand, and Indonesia. Huh? And some of the other places, uh, Prague. Prague, yes, I've been all over uh, Africa. I, I mean, to six continents, I still have Antarctica to go to. Okay. <laughs> Steven, anything in particular that you've always admired about the way Matt plays quarterback as opposed to other guys around the league? You know, seeing Matt develop over the years, I remember when he came in as a rookie, you guys leaned heavily on the run game and, you know, and play action to get him. Uh, get him going in games. Now to see him calling out of him, showing the leadership vocally. Uh, I mean, even his body language, watching him on television, he looks like a leader. And having a chance to chat with him over his uh, last day via text, um, you can tell that he loves the game of football. And I'm excited about being him and being around him as he, you know, uh, continue to grow. Yes, you know, football is a business, and I think to be a professional uh, at anything, you have to, you know, take the good with the bad and continue to uphold yourself and set a standard that, you know, you want other people to come rise up to, and it's easy to you know give in to losing and start feeling bad for yourself. But uh, I've had the support of family members and some great leaders around me to show me how to do it, and I just try to replicate what I saw, and, and you know it became something that I, I've taken great pride in, and people take a notice to. And it's humbling to see that outside of St. Louis, um, it's respected as well. Stephen, when you came in the league, this organization wasn't necessarily known for getting high-profile free agents. Um, from the outside looking in, what's some of the biggest changes you've seen within this organization as to how they're able to attract guys like you, guys like Tony, so on and so forth? I think Coach Smith, I think. Uh, and, and I think they've done a great job. I think, uh, I think Mr. Blank, his dedication to the team, the facilities that he's put in place, um, he's very personal. You know, I've had a chance to have lunch with him. And some of the questions he asked me about my life, it just makes me feel like he really cares about you, not only as a player, but as a person. And I think free agents, once you get a chance to come here and visit and see that, uh, you want to be a part of it. Now that, now that you're here, do you, 